<clears throat> Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Uh, I thought about doing a live stream to talk to you about this. Then I thought uh, I didn't want to gather everybody in and get them in for such a short period of time. I don't plan on taking too much of your time, but I want to talk to you about something that's heavy on my heart. Uh, for those of you who have followed me for any time, you know that I am seriously committed to discovering, developing, and being a part of the solutions that will help us solve the enigmatic problems that we face as a race and a community. I have put countless hours in over the last 30 plus years in research, development, and so much more. Uh, and so much more. Sorry, that's Marion. Um, uh, and uh, over the years, we have uh, had our share of victories and we've had a number of setbacks. Um, this week, I am coming to you because while we have programs like Music is Life, we have put a lot of research and development into the black uh, empowerment initiative which includes the blueprint for black empowerment the black code of conduct and a bunch of other things that on the surface don't have immediate uh impact but definitely has so much power and is absolutely necessary uh, but my focus and those of you know my focus is and my passion has been uh reaching out to save our young black men reaching out to teach young boys what it means to be a man, to socialize them into black manhood. And I say black manhood because the black male experience is unique and different to any other male species on the planet. And that has to be acknowledged when we're developing our young boys into men. Their challenges aren't the same as the challenges of others, and we need to take that into consideration. Uh, the Black Men Lead Rite of Passage Initiative has been, um, you know, very close to my heart because it allows uh, for the collective socialization of young black boys, you know, uh, not just in one generalized area, but it can be applied to uh, cities around the U.S. and beyond. Uh, it, I developed it that way, and I'm, I'm excited about taking it further. Uh, I've sit on it for as long as I can. It hasn't been easy. Also, I want to be able to put the force behind the work my wife is doing with young black girls uh, because we can sit up and talk about preparing young black men, but if we don't prepare our young black females to be able to receive support and unite with and connect with our young black males, we still have a problem. We've got to deal with the division. We've got to deal with the cancer that's on the inside of what we're dealing with. And I don't believe in being ultimately defeated. If you're still breathing, you're still in the fight. So the whole idea that there's nothing we can do about it, we're two or four gone, I'm not built like that. I've come back from too many things that should have killed me and should have destroyed me. And with that in mind, I'm standing here and I'm calling on you. If you believe in the work I'm doing, we need your support right now. We're doing a fundraiser. We're doing a fundraiser, uh, and the goal is to raise 10 grand this week. That's a very small amount considering all the work that has to be done uh, on a local and a national level because I'm trying to create a network, uh, interconnected network of support systems that teach the rite of passage that develop it, that provides resources and solutions to young black adult males who are struggling to deal with issues like parenting, like marriage, and like um, so many other things that our black men face that nobody likes to talk about. Also, Marion wants to continue her work of going inside uh, institutions and dealing with our young girls who are under the age of 18 and incarcerated and on, on a number of different issues and have been victims of childhood sexual abuse. And let's not act like our boys haven't either. I'm calling on you to be a part of this. We're gonna talk about this consistently moving until the end of the week. We're gonna consistently push it. 
uh, I'm calling on you. I know that to some 10,000 sounds like a lot. Um, and relatively speaking, for most persons as individuals, it probably is. But for a collective, it shouldn't be. And when you look at the work that's being done, it's far more work than what $10,000 can actually resource. But we have to start somewhere. We have to have something on which we can take the next move. We have to have something on which we can base the next month's planning. And I'm sitting up and I'm calling on you. If you're watching this video, yes, you. Uh, share with other people. Uh, you know me, I'm not big on asking people to share. Uh, I believe if you like what you see, you share. But right now, we need support. We need collective unity and, and, and involvement. So on that note, I am asking you to support us. If you look in the uh, description box, you're going to see, as always, a way to support us by going to the site or by going directly to our processor to, to give uh, where there's going to be no fees. Or you can give directly to our Cash App account at dollar sign, capital T-H-E, capital O-D-Y-S-S-E-Y, capital P-R-O-J-E-C-T, 21. Uh, and that's going to be, I don't know why I spelled it out, but it's going to be that given again, there will be no fees applied to your donations through any of those means. So we need your support, and this is going to be ongoing. I need your support. Marion needs your support. The Odyssey Project needs your support. Uh, we've done so much. Like I said, the Music is Life program, uh, Black Men Lead program, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters program, and so many more don't happen <laughs> without resources, uh, and we need your support. Uh, I bring my heart to you guys almost daily. And if I'm not in front of you in the video, which is just me sharing with you the work I'm doing and what I've come up with and how I'm viewing things, I'm on it. I'm hard on it. I'm up still, even though I shifted my hours after the heart attacks, I am still here, five o'clock in the morning, busting my behind to get my work done for my businesses, but also get my work done for my community. And I'm asking for your support. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Uh, for all of you who have still been chiming in and sharing your uh, uh, celebration of my birthday, wishing me a happy birthday, I appreciate it. I mean, I've actually gotten more after my birthday then I got on my birthday, and that was a lot. People are still literally chiming in. You want to show some love? Get behind me in something I'm passionate about, and let's make something happen. Let's be a difference in what we're seeing. We can talk about how horrible uh, our boys are behaving now. We can talk about the murder rate. We can talk about the violence, but I've done the work. I've told you. I've done the work on African, African American adolescent and young adult male violence. I know what triggers. I know the five triggers. I know how to deal with it. I know that socialization is the second most powerful influential factor. If we properly socialize them, we lower the risk of them committing violence. We lower the risk of them getting involved in criminality. We lower the risk of them becoming incarcerated. This is what I know for a fact. The work is there. We have to be willing to invest in these kids. We have to be willing to sit up and reach out and save them because stuff like what we're seeing with Lil Nas X and all that stuff like that is telling us they are targets. There's a whole campaign aimed at destroying them. I can't sit by and, and pretend it's not happening. So I'm asking for your support on that. I'm getting out of here. You guys have an unbelievable day.